everybody. It is Sylvia Dana with EXP Realty in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And guess what? I have updated again my KV course setup template. I'm trying to figure out how to make this the easiest to understand for somebody who just gets a hold of this template and needs to set themselves up on their KB Core website and also start generating leads. This template by itself is just free, so I just wanted to spend a couple minutes explaining it to you without the workshop. Um, so basically, what I wanna point out is if you go to this template and you open up, it's a link that is a Google Drive link. It's a Sheets document, and you can hover over a link and if you hover over a link, you'll see this little pop-up that's gonna lead you to some sort of resource. It might be a video, or it might be a support article to explain things. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make a copy of this document so that you can start working in it and enter in your own stuff because it's a reference guide for you. So that's what this little video is about, how to do that. I also have a link you can subscribe to my YouTube channel with more of my trainings. Um, then I have this little four minute video I encourage you to watch um, just to make sure that you've met prerequisites, that you've opted into your KB Core, that you know how to log in, that you know who to ask for for support, because I am not tech support. A lot of people think I am, but I'm not. I'm just an agent like you. And so anyway, so that's this first page. Okay, the second page, you'll see there's these little tabs at the bottom of the sheet. If you click on the tab, this first one, it says domain and agent profile. Here I've got instructions for you. I explain that this is a reference guide for you and just what to do first, then what to do second, and then finally what to do. So just read these directions. Notice I've got an area here that says check the red boxes below for a specific task as it relates to updating or double checking your actual KB Core website. And then I also have a place that you can start entering in notes um, as you need to for yourself as you're setting yourself up. So go through here and just write in or fill in the blank, whatever the case may be, and you're gonna fill this in as your reference. This is a video, you're gonna hover over this video and watch it, and then do what it asks you to do. Then you're gonna hover over this video about your agent profile, and then you're, after you finish watching it, you're gonna do what it asks you to do, and then there's these little check boxes. You can actually check or uncheck after you've actually completed it in your KB Core website. The next um, tab is SEO and custom pages. This, um, again, it gives you directions here at the top what to do, watching what to videos that are here in this template, checking boxes if there's tasks to complete, writing notes if you need to, um, and so then you just go through it. You, again, you watch the video, you do what it tells you to do, you check the boxes if you did them. Um, then again, watch the video, do what it tells you to do, and check the boxes as you completed. I do have this newer video here, you guys. If you're in Texas, you guys have some weird other things we gotta do for you to make sure you're compliant in Texas. This video tells you how to do that. Um, this little uh, task here explains that you have a full careers website that's yours, that's specific to you with your name and phone number, and then I explain if you don't know what that is and you can't find it based on these directions, I tell you what to do to get the correct information. Um, I talk here about adding your featured background images and secondary logo. So you're gonna watch the video, do what it tells you to do, and check the boxes as you've done it. And um, same with custom pages. If you want to um, create a custom page, especially your HomeKeeper account, you do get a free HomeKeeper blog with eXp. Here's the link, the correct link that you can hover over and click on it. It's gonna take you to the correct link to get your free account. Um, you're going to complete that profile, and then you're gonna follow the directions in this video in order to add that as a custom page on your KB Core website. Okay, so that's basically what you're gonna do. There's also this other article here um, about adding custom pages to give you more ideas if you have other ideas for custom pages. 
it tells you how to do it in this article. And then there's this option here. If you want to enable the Facebook chat um, on your KB Core website, you can watch this video and it explains how to do it. But since I made this video, there's been some updates to the how the business page works in your Facebook profile. So I have that little note for you here. So just pay attention to these highlighted sections because they have important information. Um, this particular case, Facebook had changed some things about how this is done. And I didn't, I don't have time yet to make a new video. If I do, I'll do it. But, but, um, uh, you can just follow these simple directions here to make sure you know how to do it. <clears throat> Next is campaigns, the campaign tab. The campaign tab again has the directions at the top of what to do. Um, I explain to first complete step one by watching the video and then second going to your marketing autopilot and KV Cord and actually doing what I suggest to do here. Okay, so um, same with step two. So basically you're gonna watch the video do what it tells you to do. Then step two, watch the video and do what it tells you to do. I have this exact same thing. If you hover over this little, one of these little sections, it's gonna take you to the exact same document. This document is campaign instructions with template copy and text that you're gonna to use to create these campaigns, on um, these custom campaigns. You guys, if you have a handle on campaigns and you really watch and understand and do the activities here, you will become a champion in KV Core because really understanding campaigns and triggering hashtags, it all really relates to generating leads and to feel confident about your CRM and confident about using KV Core. So I think this is the most important tab um, because if you can do this and understand this, you're gonna have such a better handle on KB Core. So camp, this matters. This tab matters the most, I would say. And then um, finally, I've got some more uh, campaign training videos you can click on that take you to even more campaign um, help and lead generating help. And then that leads me to lead generating training. That's the next tab. This tab gives you all the key, I think, important to understand things, how to understand where the heck are your leads? How come you're not getting any free leads? And, and how, what do you have to understand about squeeze pages and hashtags? To how that works together. It's kind of a shorter explanation. Um, and then how to create different squeeze pages and call capture codes. And then tactics to be able to put those squeeze page links into action. You guys, I had another message today um, from an agent asking me about you know her squeeze page link that she's created and she just thinks and I have so many agents do that. It's not just this one agent. So many agents still that they I, they just even haven't watched my videos, or they they just still don't understand. They they think that people like this. They think that if they create squeeze pages somehow in KB Core, that somehow then things happen. But as you know, nothing happens until you post links somewhere else to drive people to your website and generate a, a link, a lead. So please watch not just how to create the squeeze pages, but then how to get the leads with the squeeze pages. So this is like step one, create the leads. Step two, generate the leads using the links you created, okay? <laughs> All right. I also have, again, a little note. There were some changes to how you can schedule posts on Facebook um, since I made this video. So I have a little, a little note about that and explains what's different so that you know. And then um, I have more lead generating training um, links here that I really like that, that have a lot of views that people get a lot out of. This final page is all about... Um, creating actual squeeze page links. Now these first 12 that are here are all examples that I created. So these are all my own squeeze page links that you can check out and see what they look like. And basically, um, once you know how to create your own squeeze pages, you'll be able to just take all this, all these rows and just delete them and then enter in your own stuff if you want to, or just delete things out like so. You know, and, and enter in your own stuff if you want to. <clears throat> anyway, so this is uh, your lead generating links page where you're going to be able to uh, save your own links that you created so that you can go back to this page 
grab a link. Say, gosh, I need to post a squeeze page today. What's the easy one? Oh, there's reduced properties in Grand Rapids. Okay, great. I'm going to post that on Google. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to go to my Google business page and post it. You know, that's an example. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> this is why you save these links. So you have some sort of record and uh, you know what hashtags you used and that kind of thing so that when you, these leads show up in your CRM, you'll have some sort of reference for what the, what the heck you did. So I've got all kinds of um, rows here. You can make more and get rid of these examples. So anyway, that's the new template. Enjoy it. I hope it helps you. I hope it things makes, makes things even more clear. Um, share it. Do what you want with it. And have a great night. Thanks. Bye.